Okay, I'm gonna take my glasses off. Now. Okay. So this is Lonnie again. Hi, YouTubers. I'm doing my interview here with Jasmine. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi. You can call me Jasmine Green Tea in my local Eugene community, or you can call me Jasmine Olson, like my family sometimes does. Um, okay, this is hi, Lonnie. Hi, Jasmine. So I have three questions. Jasmine's agreed to be interviewed by me. Oh, she's associated with Bastin. So why don't you talk a little bit about your organization? Okay, I am with our organization called Ilankin Ar, which is our island's conservation center, and we focus on education and action for social justice for the Marshallese people. And one of those elements is environmental justice, especially when it comes to nuclear history in the Pacific. So as a Pacific community, as a large, expansive peripheral community that shares one ocean, water health is one of the utmost important issues that we work on and we address uh, nuclear issues in, in light of Hanford, which is right in our northwest community. We address Fukushima issues, which is happening from Japan. And we also talk about the nuclear history in the Marshall Islands and why people should have free health care for all. This Hi. is my son. He's Hi. Eight years old. What's his name? Does Jeremiah. You? Hi, Jeremiah. Do you mind being on YouTube? Um, I don't mind. He likes okay. YouTube. Okay. Well, your face is going up on YouTube then. All right. So I have three questions to ask you. First, what do you know about Fukushima? What do I know about Fukushima? I know that Fukushima was a disaster, and it is still continuing, and it is leaking. It caused a lot of radiation. It caused a lot of radiation for people, and it's making people very, very sick. And I know uh, more about the um, the news that came into our community about Fukushima, which was um, the, the debris that washed up on our Oregon coast. We had 500 species of dead crabs that were from Japan. And we have a lot of biological um, species from Japan now that have washed up, that have drifted across wow. the ocean. So that, I know that Fukushima was a really bad meltdown of nuclear reactors that are all leaking into our ocean that we go out and swim in. So that's what I know. Okay. I know that a lot of people. And what do you know about Hanford? Hanford. I've been to Hanford. I went to Hanford in spring uh, last year, and I can tell you, it's like the winds are so strong they almost swept me off my feet. There are nothing but crows and tumbleweeds in the heart of Hanford. Um, I felt really, really sick. I got sick for three weeks after visiting Hanford with a respiratory flu. And um, I think part of that was being near the river, the Columbia, because Hanford is backed up right to the Columbia and it's leaking radioactive waste underground, plumes of radioactive waste into the Columbia. So um, we went up there to see things firsthand for ourselves because we don't trust the news anymore. So. Okay. Got, um, and what do you know about nuclear? Oh, what do I know about Energy, nuclear? like nuclear energy. Nuclear what do you energy. think about? When I think of nuclear energy, I think of particulate matter. And I think about spinning cells and spinning orbits and huge explosions that can be on a fractal small level that can also be on a huge level destroying islands that vaporizing islands. That's what I think about. When I think nuclear, I think about bombs and war and vaporizing islands and the legacies that we need to tell the truth about. So have you been in touch? I'm going to ask, give you a bit of information. Have you been in touch with Han the Hanford Challenge? Um, People I up in am Portland? following Heart of America Northwest is one of the ones I'm following. I am mostly in touch with, um, what's the other one? Uh, Nuclear Northwest. Uh -huh. Well, I will tell you what, there's some really great activists in Portland on Hanford issue yeah, and on definitely. your nuclear issue yeah. at the Hanford Challenge. Okay, I'll check it out. They're on that little handout that I gave you guys. Mm -hmm. So the other thing that I found out when I went up to a symposium in Portland, did you know that the generating station, the nuclear power station that's still operating there, right? It's only 15 miles away from those leaking pits. And it's built on top of an earthquake, which they didn't know about right. at the time, but accidentally it was built there. I knew about the fault line. I did right. know about the fault line. So check this out, though. Yeah. If that power plant has a meltdown, nobody could get into those nuclear power pits. 
they could not get near them for at least a week, it would be too contaminated because you have to be at least no, a bare minimum 25, 30 miles away. So it's only 15 miles away. I need to move it. I, I well, we need shut to shut it down. Yeah, Let's just shut it down. Let's shut it all down because I just took a second job. I'm working, I'm doing the conservation center, but I just went and uh, got a second job. And one of the biggest things that I had the issue with was 54% of my tax dollars goes towards war, and then they're using war money for my hard work to support poisoning people and fracking our water and the nuclear issues. Sister, so, I'm with you there. I tell you what, let's just stop the madness and feed the poor and help people. That's, that's where I'm at. You know, okay, good. It doesn't have to be any religious thing. It could be just a human thing. Can we get back to the human thing? <laughs> Amen to that. Okay, well, thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. Uh-huh, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye.